It's time for the City vs. Country All-Star Family Feud Special. Introducing for the first game, the Dallas Family. Ken Kershaw, Meg Gallagher, Steve Canaley, Susan Howard, and Jeff Cooper. Ready for action. Playing against the It's a Living Family. Susan Sullivan, Wendy Shaw, Paul Preppel, Gail Edwards, and Barry Youngfellow. On your mark, let's start the City vs. Country All-Star Family Feud Special. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Yeah, it's been beautiful. To, we do this about four times a year where we have four shows come on. We have the Jeffersons. What a marvelous show that's been for so long. We've got uh, Dukes of Hazard. We have Dallas that is, an abs in the last few months, you've just been at the top of the ratings, but not just there. 60 shares you've been getting. And why? Because a pistol shot that wounded <laughs> J.R ricocheted and injured two other networks at the same time. <laughs> and we got the brand new smash from ABC, It's the Living. It's a great show. Dynamite, you're all. They're so talented, well-written. Yeah, I mean it. <laughs> well, let's come on. Let's welcome. They're playing for charity. My buddy, Dallas, right here. How you doing now? Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. Let's meet them all. Who we got here? Well, here we have Meg Gallagher, and she is JR's secretary, confidant, and obviously the reason he stays late sometimes. Exactly, I would. Yeah, Steve Canaley, who is not only Ray Krebs, but now is blood, one of the Ewings. I knew it when he was yeah. here last time. Yeah. He told me he was moving up. Yeah. Uh, Susan Howard, Donna Culver, who is uh, my new love interest. Really? Yeah, right. Oh, we've got a good show. Yeah. Jeff Cooper, uh, the psychiatrist who uh, straightened Sue Ellen out, solved all of her problems. That's why she's so healthy now. <laughs> he looks happy about it. We welcome you here. Who are you playing? What charity? We are playing for the uh, uh, Christian Children's Fund. All right, Andy, wish you luck. You know, thank a lot you. of money here, okay? okay. Thank you, Meg, for coming. Thank You're you beautiful, and thank you. Thank you. Here's my buddy, been here before. Yes, You're still nice looking to good. see you, Richard. Moving I'm going to have to come in my tuxedo one. No, I'm going to come dressed as You're going to come cowboy? Yeah. Okay. I like that. You we'll trade so next good. time. Sure. How is he? Is a love interest? Not bad. Not bad? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, How you doing, Richard? I shall call you Doc. Okay. The Doc is here. Help me welcome, will you please? It's the living. They're here to challenge you. <laughs> yes, sir. It's my fiance. Hi, 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 hi. These were zircons when we knew each other. Yeah. <laughs> Let's meet everybody. Yes, this is Wendy Shaw, who Hello, plays Wendy. Vicky, a waitress. Uh, our token male, Paul Kreppel, plays Yay! Sunny Man. Oh, we got one of those. Yeah, no. And um, Gail Edwards, who plays Dot, also a waitress. <laughs> and last but least, no, no, no. Very young fellow, who plays Jen, also a waitress. What character? Care. Pardon? Care. The charity is CARE, another worthy cause. We wish you lots of luck. Are you going to beat these country dumpkins? I certainly hope so. Yeah? I certainly hope so. Pretty Wendy, thank you. Uh, are you the innocent one on the show? Yes. I mean, you were the, the first show that I saw, weren't you deciding whether you'd go away for a weekend? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they're all <laughs> kind of smart answers. This uh -oh. is a gentleman I envy, working with these darlings everywhere. Yes, it's wonderful. Certainly. Yeah. I was just up in wardrobe and I couldn't find my tuxedo. Oh, and I'm sorry. I <laughs> yeah, I'm, well, we just happen to be about the same size. Looks yeah, very good. Right. I'll have it back, I promise. A little smartest. Pretty Gail. Mwah. Thank you for being here. Oh, You're going to have nice a lot of fun here. once you win a lot of money. This darling, we worked together. Yes, we did. How are you? Mm, we did a pilot called Quilts. Mm -hmm. And as you hear from the applause, <laughs> that's the reason it never sold. Uh, but you're very beautiful and talented, and it's nice to be with you again. You. Come on, let's play the feud. Let's do it. <laughs> 200 points wins the game. 100 people surveyed. Top six answers on the board. You have to try and get the most popular answer. Here's the question. 
Name something that's really thrilling the first time you do it. I was going to bet she'd be the first to ring in. Yes. Sex. Huh. I'm sorry, Sex. Mom. Oh, what can beat that? I'm... One answer will beat that, Ken. Something's really uh, thrilling the first time you do it. Uh, first kiss. Ah, the first kiss. Huh? It's there, but you got it. You're going to play a pass. Yeah. Yes. Yes, we're going to play. We're going to play. You All go right. over there and we'll see how this works out. What a day. <clears throat> I'm fascinated what number one can be. Yes. <laughs> Something that's really thrilling the first time you do it. Uh, snow skiing. Okay. Yes. Snow skate! Yes. 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 Oh, all right. Yes. Yes. What do you think, Paul? Driving a car. Yes. Yeah, that's a good one. First time you drive. Yes. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, first time you fly in a plane. Take a look. Fly a plane. I don't know whether to go on a date tonight or go to TWA. Uh, how about moving into your first home? Is that it? First time you have your own home? No, I'm waiting for that thrill. It's right up there with flying. <laughs> For yeah. all the money, your first hope? Not that. But that's no problem because there's only one answer left. Oh, how about roller coaster? Your first roller coaster. Yes, yes, good answer. Yes. Let's take a look. For all the money, roller coaster. Thanks, yeah. oh, They got them all. They got them all. Oh. Now, Susan and I. I know that she's a game player, but that was a sensational wow. steal. Okay. Yeah. Seventy-nine dollars now for the city, the country nothing. Hey Meg, come on, pretty. Let's go. Wendy. All righty. Now one hundred women surveyed. No men. One hundred women. Top six answers are on the board. Here's the question we asked the women. We said, tell me a sure sign that your husband or man is two-timing you. I think I was third. Uh, lipstick on his collar. Oh, lipstick, <laughs> said Wayne, on his collar. Yeah, don't. One answer will beat it, Meg. That's my answer. Sure sign that your husband or man is two-timing you. Coming home late at night. Uh -huh. Coming home late. Oh! one answer. Gonna play or pass? Talk it over. We're playing. We're playing. Okay. Well, you both did well. Are you oh, married, Meg? Good. No. Because you know this is good for research. It's I don't even have a boyfriend. Shoot. You don't have a boyfriend? <laughs> Can I be your honorary boyfriend? <laughs> your beau. I'll court you in the Western South. Steve will tell me how to do that. Well, we'll discuss later. Yeah, just honorary. Nothing gaudy. Okay. Oh, well, I just don't want to go that honorary. Don't let me interrupt. I'm going to give you a handshake. Well, Steve, what is it? I'm going to shake my hand. I can Isn't get that, that at the Red Cross. Well, I would say flagrant delecto. Huh? This means when you actually catch your husband. I got you, right. Yes, you actually see him. Being caught in the act. Caught in the say. act. Who catch them in the act? Oh. Hey, see? Well, that is a sure sign. Well, That's a know. sure sign. Catch him in a lie. That's a good, yeah. Okay. Sure. A lie. Where were you last night? Uh, I was running for governor of Alabama. Okay. Yeah, I can tell you. Alive! Come on, Jim. Yeah, I hear about this all the time from Sue Ellen, you know. Yeah, that's right. I'm I should be an expert on this. Right. If he suspects you, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, I got you, yeah. The reverse. The reverse thing. So if he's always accusing you. Yeah. Then, yeah. <laughs> what we call uh, RJ, reverse oh, jealousy. Okay. Is it that? RJ? No, not that. Uh, isn't uh, isn't uh, interested sexually as much. Oh. Is that good? Why not? I hope yeah. so. Strikes. If it's up there, you got all right. If not, third strike. Not that interested in sex. Yeah. Well done. Oh, I feel so much better. 
much pressure. Huh? So, no. so much pressure. We're just rolling along here. Daddy spends a lot of extra money. Oh, okay. Yeah. Spends money. I did a very good. Yeah. Answer. What is this two thousand yeah, dollars for the Ramada Motel? <laughs> oh, I can explain that, honey. That's on now. Zigger, all right. If not third strike, he spends more money. <laughs> no. Oh, shoot! Seventy-five dollars up there, little Susan. If you and your darlings give me the right answer, you got a big lead in the game. Oh, all right. We got it. Hostile group. Um, 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 um. Uh, phone calls. Um, you know, phone calls where people hang up. Mysterious, oh, strange phone oh, calls. Oh, I got Yeah, the wife's getting phone calls. All right, Dick. If that's there, my darling, you get a big lead in the game. If not, a very even game, because the country folks get the $75. Phone call! <laughs> Number four. Always tired. Number five. That's very nice. Wasn't that was your other answer, right? Okay, good game still. 79 there, 75 there. Come on, Steve and Paul. Yeah. Remember 200, whoever gets there first will play for $5,000 for the charity and be in the finals. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Gentlemen, this is the question. Name a toy on which kids learn how to balance themselves. A bicycle. Bicycle. Number one. What are you going to do? Play. 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 Yeah, all play, Kevin. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look up there. He gave me the number one answer. This means that someone's going to win on this particular question. Name a toy which kids learn how to balance themselves. Skateboard. Okay. Skateboard. <laughs> Woo! Jeff. Uh, skates. Roller skate or ice skates? Right. Roller! Woo! Toy in which kids learn how to balance themselves. Gee, I don't know if they're around much anymore. Scooter. Hey. Which, see, are they around anymore? Sure. Yeah. Scooter! Not <laughs> out. Oh. Um, let me see here. Uh, how about a pogo stick? Pogo hey! stick. Yeah, I like that. Beautiful. Pogo stick! Oh, I have one that's very similar to that, and I hesitate. Gosh. You don't want to get lost, you know? No, I know, but I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna have to guess stilts. Stilts? Yes. All right. Yeah. Stilts there, Steve. All right. If not third strike, darlings, you get a chance to steal and be the champs. Here we go. Stilts! Oh, no. Beautiful. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. This is it. Oh, you want to learn how to balance himself. Okay, the thing that came, and I don't even know whether you'd consider it a toy, but it's a surfboard. Surfboard, Very all nice. right, my love. Very That's nice. there, you've got it. You'll play for $5,000. Nice. You'll be in the finals. If not, get ready, it's a living surfboard. Oh. Money up here will give one victory to the city if you give me the right answer. Skis? Skis? <laughs> toy in which kids learn how to balance themselves? Skis. Skis. Skis there, Susan. Your play for the $5,000. Be in the final. If not, you will. Skis! <laughs> Number three. Bobby Horse. One of the older... You saw... Ken, you worried about Scooter not being up there? Hobby yeah. Horse just showed up. Incredible. All right, you got $79. Stay here and root, because we, we want them to get the money, all right? Who will play for the $5,000? Two people, please. Let's go. Who's first? Who's first? Susan? All right. Ken and Susan are going for $5,000 right after we watch this. Well, well, score one, uh, city versus country. The country has got one. You're going to be in the finals. Oh, boy. You're going to play for $5,000 now. Your charity is the Christian Children's Fund. Right. Susan cannot hear. She's on stage. You know we wish you luck. Thank you. 15 seconds, please. Name something you adjust when you're in a car. A uh, seat. How long an extramarital affair lasts? Uh, a month. Something critics review? Plays. Something with straps? Uh, 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 suspenders. I mean, uh, I mean 
An Cold ingredient rolls. in casserole. An ingredient in casserole. Macaroni. All right. Oh. Oh. I don't let him give me buzzers. Right? <laughs> okay. Something you adjust when you're in the car. You said? Seat survey said? All right. All right. How long did the marital affair last? You're a whole heart here. You said a month, didn't you? <laughs> Survey said? Nine. Something critics review? Plays, you said? Yeah. Survey said? Nineteen. You got seventy? Right. Something with straps, you said? What do you say? Overall? Overall. Survey said? Seven. An ingredient in casseroles, you said macaroni. Survey said? Here's Susan. Let's go, Angel. Come on, Sue. Right here, babe. You are 72 points away oh. from all the money. Isn't that Marlon? Yeah, he's got 128. He's good. Yes, he is. I got a feeling you're going to be $5,000 richer. <laughs> yes. Please remind everyone the answers that uh, Ken gave us. And give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. We wish you luck, darling. Name something you adjust when you're in a car. Uh, the radio. How long an extramarital affair lasts? Two weeks. Something critics review. Plays. Try again. Movies. Something with straps. Uh, uh, uh straps. Uh, sus pants. An try again. Uh, straps. An ingredient in casseroles. Oh, uh, cheese. God. No. Couldn't think of anything. Guys, with that? No. Let's get straps. Uh, let me just check. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Couldn't you have done that? <laughs> yeah. Help me a <laughs> Something you adjust when you're in a car, you said? Oh. Radio survey said? Oh. Oh. Seat was the number one answer. How long an extramarital affair last night? <laughs> I told Ken he was naughty for a month. You went for two weeks. <laughs> survey said? Oh. Six months. Something that critics review. <laughs> Movies. Movies. It was the number one answer. Oh. Survey oh. said? Something with straps, oh. passed on it, passed. because you couldn't think of it, you know, you doubled up. Bra was number one, and then an ingredient in casseroles. You said cheese. I'll tell you right now, macaroni noodles, number, number one, one. end. But you only need 13 points from the survey. Said. Oh. 196, $5 every point, total of. Oh, no. 900 But. You're already in the finals, and the finals is worth $10,000, all right? Okay. Well, the country have won. City, nothing at the moment. But coming up, the Jeffersons representing the city and the Dukes of Hazzard representing the country. How will they do? We'll find out right after we watch this. It's time for the second game of the City vs. Country All-Star Family Feud Special. Introducing the Jefferson Family. Isabel Sanford, Mike Evans, Roxy Roker, Paula Gibbs, and Franklin Culver. Ready for action. Playing against the Dukes of Hazard Family. Rick Hurt, Lindsey Bloom, Christopher Hensel, Peggy Ray, and Jeff Altman. On your marks for the second game of the City vs. Country All-Star Family Feud Special. And here, once again, is the star of Family Feud, Richard Johnson. Queen Isabel. Oh, my God, yes. How are you? Fine, thank it's nice you. Nice to see you. Thank you. It's good to be here. You know, the city is down already. The country has one score. They've already... Uh... Yeah. Let, let me just introduce... My I uh, play son, Michael Evans. Michael. My upstairs neighbor, Roxy Roca. Hello, Roxy. My maid, Marla Gibbs. Her teacher. Teacher. <laughs> <laughs> And my upstairs neighbor, um, uh, uh, uh. Uh, Franklin Cova. Welcome. <laughs> what, uh, what charity are you playing for? The United Negro College Fund. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. Very good. Very good. I keep mispronouncing. I keep forgetting it. Thank God I got it. You got it right. How long have you been on the air now? Seven seasons. Oh, yeah. 
Well, thank you. Thank you. I came thank back you. just after the summer, and I came back from Hawaii, picked up the trade papers. There you were number one. Well, thank you. We try hard. <laughs> and you're succeeding. <laughs> thank you. Here's my buddy from a long time. All right, How are you, friend. Mike? Everything right. good? Yeah. He's yeah, a good yeah. game player. He likes right. season ta -ta -ta -ta. Yes. Yeah. He's intense. I'm practicing backgammon for you. He wants to do it. Yeah, <laughs> we played backgammon. Yeah, we did. We were, I did match game. Hello, Hello my Hello. darling. Mm -hmm. Oh, you Roxy, I love that name. Oh, thank you very much. In fact, my son wrote a song about it. Uh, Did he really? Yeah. What's the title of the song, Kathy? It's in my bed. <laughs> well, at the Roxy, wasn't it? Really? Yeah, I swear oh, to you. that's wonderful. Yeah, get a copy of the record. Spelled R O X I E oh. or Y. Well, I mean, we had to nah. go to Y because that's the name of the club. But <laughs> uh, never look a gift record in the label, Roxy. Play it. Well, the Midnight Eyes, and I think you'll like it. I shall call you a teacher, not a maid. Don't put your hands on me. I'm a teacher. <laughs> My heart stopped. <laughs> You're a teacher, you have to teach. That's what I'm teaching you how to do. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. How you doing, Franklin? Nice, you, to you. nice to Wish see you. Wish you lots of luck. You're playing for good thank charity. You. Help me now. Welcome, my buddies here. The Duke's a hazard right out. Hey. Oh, how you doing? Thank you. How are you? Let me meet everybody here, please, Rick. Yes. This is Lindsay Bloom. Hello, Lindsay. Hi, Who plays Richard. Maybell, our telephone operator, knows all the dirt and has it gone. <laughs> and uh, Chris Hensel, who is playing Jeb Stewart Duke, one of our new cousins. Gotcha. And Ms. Peggy Ray, who plays Lula Bell, uh, Hogs, Boss Hogs wife. <laughs> <laughs> and a, another hog in the family uh, is uh, <laughs> Je Jeff Altman, who plays Huey Hog. You uh, are playing for what charity? Uh, charity we're playing for is the National Broadcasting Company. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, this is true. It's... When you're third, you have to try harder. <laughs> uh, we're playing for the Guide Dogs for the Blind. Ah, a noble call. Well done. Yeah. Thank you for being here. I know you like to play games because I okay. see you all the time. Mm -hmm. You're gorgeous. Thank you. Are you a married lady? Of course. Why, of course. <laughs> <laughs> We're delighted to have you here. Are you a new cousin yes. on the show? How long have you been on the show? <laughs> a week. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously got no reviews to show. <laughs> Pretty Peggy. Thank you for being here. Oh, and I it's loved a pleasure. This. It's gorgeous. What is, man? Yeah. I, I don't want to get involved carnally here. But <laughs> play with my little baubles? What is that? That is it's a Chinese porcelain. Yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I'll put it down gently. <laughs> oh, you don't want to get silly here. <laughs> Jeff. Hello, Richard. How are you? Nice to meet We're you. We're going to have a good time. I know you like to play. Ready to do it? Absolutely. Let's play the two. Hey, come on. Here's the bell and Rick. Here we go. Aha. Uh -huh. 200 is the magic score we're looking for. 100 people surveyed. Top six answers are on the board. You have to try and get the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name something drivers do with their hands when they should have them on the steering wheel. Smoke a cigarette. Smoke a cigarette. Yeah. Very good. One answer will beat that, my darling Isabel. Um, scratching their face. An itch. Scratching their itch. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely phrased, though. Nicely phrased. Are you going to play or pass? What do you think, guys? Go play, go play. Go play. they are going to play. Go back. Don't explain your answer immediately. Okay. Uh, well, come to uh, Married Lindsay. <laughs> a love in bloom. Something drivers do with their hands. And they should have them on the steering wheel. Peck their nose? Good <laughs> 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 answer. <laughs> <laughs> answer. <laughs> Don't clean up your answers. For I mean, sure. yeah. <laughs> she said that with such enthusiasm. I thought love was coming out until I heard what she said. <laughs> Uh, the nose picking. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, classic. Who hasn't Lindsay? done that? Though? Well, we've all done it. I just didn't want it to be in the service. Uh, they should. They have them around their date. Ah, all right, around their date. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well done. I would say tuning in the radio. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. Good though. answer. Yeah. Good. Take a look. Tuning the radio. This is our moment. Yours and mine. Anything you want to talk about? 
We don't have to talk about that. This is real ironic for me being here today. Why? Well, because in high school, I was voted most likely to wind up on this show. Really? <laughs> drivers do with their hands, or they should have them on the steering wheel. Read a road map. Or a map. All right. Read a map. No, not there. Good answer, Dad. Just didn't make the survey. It was a goodie. Yeah. Um, reaching to pick something up. Reaching under their seat, like they're picking something up they drop. All righty. Reaching under the seat. If it's there, all right. If not, third strike. Reaching under the seat. Jeffersons, the city can get the money if you give me the right answer. Yes. Ready? Yeah. Drinking. Drinking. Yes. Drinking's there. You get the sixty-seven dollars. If not, Rick and the Dukes get it. Drinking. Number three. Didn't you? Yeah. Did, don't you agree? Did, didn't you think I it was there? That no, no, yeah, no, I, I really did. Number beer. three, please. Talking, talking with their hands. The that's right. I talk with my hand coming yeah. here today, but it doesn't <laughs> talk back. I don't even have a little Senor Wench's face. Hello. Yeah. Five. That's eight. That's six. Yeah. Six. Yeah. Six. Yeah. Six their hair. Yeah. My goodness. Well, the country's on the board. The city has yet to score. We'll be back right after this. Yeah. They always keep a promise. At the Roxy. Oh. By my son's group called the Midnight Eyes. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, you have $67. Nothing gave Michael. Come on, I mean. And up, here we go. Ready? 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something husbands love to be complimented on by their wives. Michael. Looks. Their looks. Number one answer. I was sworn you were going to go first. What are you going to do? Uh -huh. Talk to me. Yes, yes. Play. Yes. Thank you, Michael. They're going to play, my love. Sure. They're... No, you right. Stay right there, my love. <laughs> Something husbands love to be complimented on by their wives. I hope it's their intelligence. Boy, wouldn't that be nice, Roxy? Mm -hmm. yeah. Their intelligence. Oh, that's all right. Should be there. Should be wow. there. Wow. Right. Um, the help that they do around the house. Their oh, handy good. Sure. handiness. All right. How helpful they are. I'll go for that. Oh, there. Frank, you got it. Something husbands right. love to be complimented on by their wives. Uh, their athletic skill. Uh-huh. All right. What we call AS. If it's there, you're all right, Frank. And if not, third strike. Athletic skill? Yes. No. It's $24 up here. Rick, it's yours. Four answers left. Okay, we got Husbands love to be complimented on by their wives. I will think we got a couple of choices. Let's go with their lovemaking. Oh, yeah. All right, good. If they're good, good lovers. You get the money, all the money. If not, you're in the game, Isabel, with $24. Good lovers? Yeah. yeah. Physique. 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 I don't know. Number three. Physique. Number four. Number five. Number five. Number five. Still nothing to do with brains up there. I get $91 there, still nothing. Roxy, come on. Now, 200, they're almost halfway there, my darling. Just one hand up there, pretty sweetheart. Dollar values are doubled, 100 people surveyed. Top six answers are on the board. Here's the question. Name something in your house that has wheels. Coasters. Coasters. <laughs> Something in your house that has wheels. Shopping cart. <laughs> Shopping cart. No. We're both very good. Right. No, I think you'll find Safeway we'll be calling you. Uh, Peggy, there's something in your house that has wheels. Something in your house that I has... I asked you first, yeah. yes. in all fairness. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, baby buggy. <laughs> baby buggy. <laughs> 
Bang. This answers the question, where are the new game players coming serving from? Serving tray. Pardon? Serving tray. Serving tray? Oh, yeah. serving... Yeah. Yeah. Cart. Serving. Yeah, cart. Yeah. yeah, you said yeah. tray. Serving cart, if it's there in the game, all right? Serving cart. You got oh, it. Good. Gonna play a pass on. Uh, you want to play? Playing, playing, playing. Playing? You got yeah. some? Okay, playing. we're playing. We're gonna play. Okay. Go back and explain coasters. Off we go. Yeah. Uh, putting your glass on the coaster. It's got wheels on it. Never mind that. <laughs> Something in your house that has wheels, man. A vacuum cleaner. Thank you, Franklin. Yeah, great. Vacuum? Great. Bang. All right. All right. All right. This is not hard. All right. Isabel. I just Queen. had it in my head. Don't what, what was it? Wait, where's it in here? <laughs> I'll uh, find it if it's the last thing. Wheels. Something in your house that has wheels. Um. Bed. The bed underneath. Sounds good. Good. Oh, good. A bed? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. All right. Oh. All right. Oh. Don't ever second guess yourself, right? Oh, my goodness. Yes? What do you think? And your house has wheels. Doing you the dreaded refrigerator. Thank you, dear. <laughs> refrigerator? <laughs> yeah, yes. got it. Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 Describe what it is, and I'll see if I can... I think I know what you mean. Yeah, when, you, you, you when you're the, vacuuming and you put... The l dolly! Dolly! But yes, I know you, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, a little flat thing with wheels. <laughs> Called a coaster out. on the East Coast. Uh, <laughs> take a look. <laughs> dolly! Uh, I didn't think so. Gosh. Okay, the TV cart, and that you put yeah. the TV on right, and it rolls. That's good. Right. I'll buy that. TV cart? Yes! 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 yes. 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 One more. You're get in the game. The pressure is building oh, out. Yeah. You've got it, you've got it. Okay. has wheels, just one answer. All right, uh, I will say a chair. Chair. The chair's there, you got okay. it all. Okay. Chair! Bang! Uh, nope. right. Isabelle. Okay, no. Back to me again. Yeah. Oh. Can't think of it. Got refrigerator. Three no. seconds, Charles. Um, Don't say another word. Right now, there's enough money up there. Well, the country will play the country for ten thousand dollars if you give me the right uh, answer. Well, we'll try toys. Like some kind of toys? kids' toys. Toys. There, you get the money. If not, you're in the game with one hundred and forty-two dollars, Isabel. Toys. Uh, oh, right. You got it. Oh, Number six. What is it? This one shot. One forty-two plays ninety-one. Let's go. Come on. This will decide. You'll yeah. not only play for $5,000, but you'll go into the finals. Here we go. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers are on the board. Here's the question. Name a part of their bodies women like to be small. Yes. Their go. waistlines. Pardon? Their waistlines. A small waistline. Bang. All right. Play. What are you going to do? Play. 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 Yes. Play. 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 Just for a teacher, you're very lackadaisical. Like <laughs> Part of their bodies, women like to be small. Well, I would say the backside. Very nicely put. Derriere. Derriere! What a nice phrase. Yes! Good! Good, 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 good. Isabel? Feet. Pardon? Feet. Small feet. All righty. Feet! Oh. You did it, darling. Oh, uh -huh. What's left? Okay, well, we've got two strikes. You'll come up with oh, it. So oh. I'll just say... I'll say, uh, uh, this area, but this is cool, but the rest shouldn't be big. So how do I state that in a word? Uh, uh, the upper me. torso area, which could include the bosoms and everything. Okay. Is that what you want to say? Okay, I'll say that. Bosom? Sure. All righty, fine. I don't know if it's there or not. If it is, be there. you will be, there. Well, we be got, the we winners, got two more. if not, it's only your first strike. Bosom? Bang! No? Nope. Okay. Well, I think that the other thing that a lady likes is a small mouth. Let's take a look, Roxy. A lip? A mouth That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Nose. Part of their bodies. Huh. Women yeah, like to be small. Nose. Small yeah. nose. Huh. If it's there, you're the champs. If not, get ready to steal, Duke. Oh. Nose! Oh. You got it! Oh, you got it. I didn't make up the game.
Give money to a thousand dollars. I'll do it on the air, whether they like it or not. <laughs> you know, because we stay here and root my buddies on. All right. I need two people right now to play. Two people. Come on, let's go. Who's going first? You want? Isabel and Micah playing for five thousand dollars, and the score is city one, country one. Ready? Let me know when Michael's all ready. Okay. Fifteen seconds on the clock, please. We're playing for the United Negro College Fund. Good luck. Thank you. You know I love you. Here we go. Name the best place in the house for a third phone. Uh, the bathroom. Something that hotel maids replace daily. Sheets. A food that gets caught in your teeth. Spinach. Something fuzzy. Peach. Something bees do. Give honey. They give honey. All right. Good. Thank you. Here we go. Best place in the house for a third phone. Bathrooms at his belt. Survey <laughs> said 25. Oh. Oh. Daily. You said Survey said 31. You got 50. Oh. You get caught in your teeth. You said spinach. Survey said. Oh, zero. I guess you, me, and Papa are there. <laughs> Something fuzzy. You said a peach. Survey said 20. Oh. What do birds do? You said give honey. Mine sell it to me. But the survey said. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you. you. Now, Mike. Let's go, Mike. Oh, hey, Mike. We got it. 68 points away from $5,000. Okay. Please All remind right. everyone the answer is the bell gave us. Give me 20 seconds on the clock. We wish you luck. All right. Name the best place in the house for a third phone. Uh, the, the bathroom. Try again. Uh, the, the, uh, the kitchen. Something that hotel maids replace daily. Ashtrays. A food that gets caught in your teeth. <sighs> Celery. Something fuzzy. A cat. Something bees do. Buzz. Turn around, my God. Oh, yeah. This place in the house for a third phone. You said? Kitchen. Bathroom was number one. Kitchen, the survey said? Ten. Okay. All right, 142. Something hotel maids replace daily. You said the ashtrays? The survey said? Uh-oh. Uh, towels. Number towels. one answer, towels. Food that gets caught in your teeth. You said? Celery. Survey said? Come on. Four. Corn, number one answer, corn. Huh. Something fuzzy, you said a cat? Survey said, 10. Ah. Ah. A stuffed animal or a teddy bear was the number one answer for that. And then That's what I meant. something bees do. <laughs> <laughs> Were you in the AM scam trial at all? <laughs> something bees do, you said they buzz. I'll give it up. You need 44 points for the huh. money. Survey said, Nine. Honey was the number one answer. Yeah. You got uh, 165, five dollars for every uh, point. Total of eight hundred and twenty-five dollars. Uh, yeah. And uh, whoever wins out of the final game will play for ten thousand dollars. Okay? All right, all right. So the Jeffersons are gonna play Dallas for ten thousand dollars right after we watch this. Well, the city won. Country won, and the city, the Jeffersons, they're here in the finals. They're playing for United Negro College Fund. So far, you've won $1,163. My buddies for Country Dallas, they are playing for the Christian Children's Fund. They have won $1,243. Congratulations. Now we have the big one. This is, and I want all of you to listen, we only have one question. So. It's important, whoever gets control of this, to make the decision. There's no coming back. Just one question. Whoever wins will play for $10,000. I wish you both luck. And I need you, cutie pie. I need you, kid. Let's play the feud. Let's go. Here we go. Want to wish each other luck? All righty. They're going to ask you something he knows nothing about. Don't worry. 100 people surveyed. Top eight answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something that always moves in circles. Merry-go-round. A merry-go-round. All right. Oh. Okay. Number one answer. Talk it over. You're going to play or pass? Uh, are we going to play or pass? Play. 
Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Play. Something, Something that always, always moves, moves in, in circles. circles. You can name anything. Anything. That moves around. Like the globe. Good. Up. I'll buy that. <laughs> the globe! Hey! No. The world! Yes! Oh, yes! Good. Yes! Thank you. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Oh. The right. sun. The sun. Thank you. Were well, you being a teacher? You would know. <laughs> the sun! <laughs> oh! Oh, no, the sun moves in circles around the daughter, I think. Unless I'm <laughs> Frankly. Yeah, I missed that in school. <laughs> Well, um, I would say uh, the, uh, the clock, the, the uh, hands of the clock. Good, 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 the hands of the clock. Yes, sir. Good 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 I think it's a good answer, but I don't guarantee it'll be there, but I'm going to say it anyway. A phonograph record. That's what I had. That's hey. what I had. Okay. All right, if it's there, all right. If not, third strike. Number phonograph five. Phonograph record. Yes, sir. Oh, it's a oh. There's tons of them. Oh, it's a phonograph record. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Here I am again. Oh, to oh. go around and around and around. Uh, Something that always around. moves in circles. Always moves in circles. Um, a ballerina, you know, twirling. Ballerina? Be there. Oh. If you give it to me, Dallas, you'll be the champs. You'll play. Hey, come on, let's go. Let's go. You don't have to whisper now. There's nothing they can do. It's all up to you. I need an answer. A fan. A fan. Okay. If a fan's there, you get the money and play for ten thousand dollars. Y'all be the champs of city versus country. If not, you will. A fan. I thought a fan was a good answer, and I said, did you have any others? They said a washing machine, yeah. and, a and, a and, a and a drying machine, and a Ferris wheel. Oh, and a who was on all righty, five, please. Number five. Oh, oh. oh Ken, I think you better stand here. They might, they might get ugly here while we reveal this. I want to look after you. Number six. Stop. Oh, well, that's all right. Number eight. Whirlpool. Oh. Well, then none of those others were there that we thought were so good. Stay here, Rudamon, $10,000. Who's going to play? Two people. Come on, let's go. Who's going first? We got Mike and Marla for $10,000. Jefferson's no won the contest. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Oh, I knew good. that. I knew that. Wish you luck. I luck. decided. Yeah. Playing for the United Negro College Fund. Mm -hmm. Marla gone? Already. $10,000 for you. 15 yes. seconds, please. Besides engines, name something under the hoods of cars. A, a generator. A face card in a deck of cards. King. Your lucky number. Seven. An animal nobody's afraid of. A dog. <gasps> something people wear in a bedroom. A negligee. I always do. Well, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm looking, you see. I, I picture myself seeing Exactly, it. exactly. <laughs> Size engine, Don't something under the hood of the car. The generator said, Mike. Survey said. Oh. Uh, all righty. A face card and a deck of cards. Mike said, King. Survey said. All right. Oh, okay. 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 Lucky number. Michael said seven. That's it. I'll survey bet. said. Bet. Mm. Yes, sir. Right. Right. You got a hundred and two and two right. All right. An animal nobody's afraid of. I was only saying that to an Alsatian that attacked me the other day. <laughs> he said a dog. He said, I'm not afraid of you. Survey said. Yeah. 22. What? Something <laughs> people wear in the bedroom. Negligee, said Mike. Survey said. Oh, Beautiful. Right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Back. You're looking for Mala. Come on, darling. Here comes Mala. I scored 148. You need 52 points for $10,000 for your charity, okay. the United Negro College Fund. We wish you luck. 
Please remind everyone the answers Mike gave us. Give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. Besides engines, name something under the hoods of cards. Uh, fan belt. A face card in a deck of cards. Ace. Your lucky number. Seven. Try again. Six. An animal nobody's afraid of. Uh, a rabbit. Something people wear in a bedroom. A negligee. Try again. Uh, pajamas. Turn around. Five engines, something under the hoods of cars. A fan belt. It's a little rubber thing, isn't it, that you hit a fan with if they get out of line. <laughs> Survey said. Oh. Uh, oh, nothing. Battery, battery was battery. the number one answer. Yep. Battery. Face card in the deck of cards. You said ace. Survey said. Oh, you don't play a lot of cards, do you? No. See, a face card, like Point King was that. number one. Yeah, King was number one. Your lucky it. number, you said. Six. Pajamas. Yeah, I used to have that and 54. <laughs> they were always my two lucky numbers. I play 54 when I play roulette. I don't win a lot, but I, I'm just very stubborn. Survey said. Oh. Okay. Seven was the number one answer. An animal nobody's afraid of. You said. Bunny rabbit. I love to play with the bunnies. Survey said. Nine. A pussy cat. Can you imagine that? A pussy cat was the number one answer. Something people wear in a bedroom. You said pajamas. 41 points for $10,000. Of course, if it's there, I'll just know you were tricking us along to make us feel bad. Survey said. friends from all of the shows, our friends of uh, Dukes and Hazard, who were playing with the guide uh, dogs for the blind, they, they won actually $91. We're going to make it $1,000. So, yeah. oh. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Okay? And it's a living show that I love playing for care. They won $79. We'll make that $1,000, too. Oh. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, babe. Thank you. Dallas, we're playing for the Christian Children's Fund. They won $1,243. It's not fair not to give them a little extra. We'll make that $2,000. All right. Thank you for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank and the City One, yes, sir. The Jeffersons, who were playing for the United Negro College Fund, won $11,236. And they won the title. There's your big, big oh, award. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Michael, it came through like a champ. I knew you would. Pretty Marla. Thank you. And Franklin, you were superb. City did it. I thank you all. You were beautiful. We thank you. We'll see you here on the street. Bye bye. Oh. This is Dean Wood speaking for Family Feud. A Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production.